Well, a brand new exhibit is about to open at the New Britain Museum of American Art, and it's all about how women have shaped our country. Love this. And that's just really one of the amazing shows, though, that you can see there right now. Melissa Cole is there live to take us for a little bit of a tour. Hey, Melissa, how's it going? Hi guys, yeah, that exhibition is opening tomorrow and literally workers are here putting on the final touches. And it's incredible, Lisa has been showing us around. Hi Lisa. Hi. And it's all about women. Yes, all about women artists and we're so happy you get a little bit of a behind the scenes tour before it officially opens. Um, we are so excited to bring this exhibition to the MBMAA. It has so, much, uh, so many parallels to our own collection uh, spanning 200 years of American art. But this show features women artists exclusively um, this let's, is let's go on in. Yeah, let's walk in here good. because we have some um, that these actually are from the 1800s. This is like some old, beautiful works. Yes, yes. So this exhibition was organized by the Thomas Cole National Historic Site, um, curated by Dr. Nancy Siegel, Kate Menconeri, and Amanda Malmstrom, and really looking at um, reinserting women into the canon of American art. Um, so often um, we think about the Hudson River School and 19th century landscapes as being created by male artists only, but there were women there practicing right alongside um, the men and who were showing and exhibiting and selling work uh, successfully, but who were kind of written out of the history books subsequently. Yeah. So this exhibition celebrates artists like Susie M. Barstow. Um, it's a two-part show, actually, that features 19th century landscapes by women artists, including, including Susie Barstow, Fidelia Bridges, and others, and puts the, these historic works in conversation with contemporary artworks that continue to expand ideas and questions around landscape art and what the land means to us today. Mm -hmm. And this is incredible. And it's so yes. nice that now these ladies are getting some the recognition that, that they deserve, right? Yes. <laughs> and so you really can take a lot of time and look through each one. There's so many beautiful details. This whole area is also part of the historical yes. section. Yes, absolutely. Um, so this is, this is the first retrospective. It's kind of a mini retrospective of the work of Susie M. Barstow. And it includes a lot of um, looks into her life, what was happening uh, socially, culturally at the time that these women were working. Um, they were accomplished. They were hiking into the wilderness. They were painting these uh, landscapes on site. Um, so they were really undaunted. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. I love yeah. that. All right, so now we're in more of the contemporary section, which you can obviously see the difference. Yes. Um, this here, I mean, this is amazing. Yes. This is by Jamaican-born artist uh, Ebony Patterson. And um, we see here interesting references to the historic work. So you'll find in some of the pieces by Susie M. Barstow these beautiful depictions of ferns um, and intimate uh, corners of the wilderness. So Ebony Patterson is referencing that in this um, fern wallpaper, and she's juxtaposing it with these contemporary materials. Um, it's just an explosion of color and um, dazzling glitter and beads. Um, so it's really a, a feast for the eyes. She's envisioning the landscape as a garden, um, but hidden um, within this kind of ecosystem that she's depicted here with butterflies and beads are figures that refer to the trauma of those who have worked the land. Oh, yeah. um, so you see that kind of hidden, hidden below with close looking. All right, so I feel like kids would actually love to spend some time here looking at all the little details. Oh, absolutely, and maybe be inspired to make their own exactly. uh, gardens. Exactly. <laughs> then over on this wall, we have some more contemporary works. And yes, I love this one here, like the mountains. Yes, so this is by um, Kay Walking Stick, who's a Native, Native American artist. Um, she is um, incredibly celebrated today. And you see her epic depiction of the landscape is not unlike those that um, artists of the 19th century were painting. And yet here she's overlaying patterns from Native American um, ceramics and textiles uh, to reinforce the fact that um, indigenous peoples have always occupied the land and they're still here. We can't read the landscape without being aware of their presence and the fact that the land holds these spiritual and cultural connections. So we want everybody to come out and see it for yourself and you yes. kids are encouraged. You have special events here on the weekends too, right? Oh, we've got lectures, we've got workshops, um, we've got so much in store. So do check our website for more information. Okay, we love it. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for coming. All right, back to you guys. All right, thanks Melissa, great place. Check it out with your whole family.